Hello, good friend. For our American viewers, we wish you a very happy Labor Day. For all of us, we're going to talk about faith or, or fear. And isn't that always the question, one way or the other? I pray that you go this way towards faith. In Psalms 23, verse 4, it says, I may walk through the valley as dark as death, but I will not be afraid. You are with me, and your shepherd's rod makes me feel safe. It is a world that we live in that causes us to make choices many, many times during each day. We have the ultimate choice of faith or the choice of fear. Many people around the world choose fear. It often upsets me to think about people living their whole lives in fear. It's like a car, if you left it only in first gear, or really it's reverse, and you never knew about any of the other speeds that you could go. And therefore, you were constantly going backwards, slow. No matter what you tried to do, every time you got motivated, you were wide awake, you felt good, you stepped on the gas, and you went back. This is because of a fear-based life. When you have a faith-based life, and I'm not talking about one hour in church on Sunday, I'm talking about minute-to-minute, hour-to-hour, day-to-day, faith-based life. Well, then you've got real power. Then you're at a higher speed in life. Then there is movement in your life. Although God has probably guided you through many struggles and more than a few difficult days, you may still find your faith stretched, sometimes stretched to the limit, and you may encounter adversity or uncertainty or unwelcome changes. But the good news is this. Although your circumstances may change, God's love for you does not whether you are in the valley of darkness or on the mountaintop of life, God is with you. God is with you to help you, to, to pull you through, or to carry you through. The next time you're in a fear-inducing situation, remember that no problem is too big for God and for the good that God can bring to you through your adversity. Meditate on the scope of God's power and meditate on God's love for you right in that moment in that situation and walk closely with God. Let God guide you through the changes in your life. Many times you'll find that these changes were really blessings in disguise. Wherever you are, my friend, God is there. Wherever you are today, God is with you, helping you. God cares for you today. God cares for you always. And God will lovingly accompany you, protect you, and walk through life's shadowy valleys with you. And you'll soon find that your faith is stronger moment to moment than your fears.